Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be reacting to Troublemakers Now. Um, I did see a bunch of the teaser images. I'm really not too sure if there were any teaser videos that were released. I'm pretty sure there were, but, um, I mean, the videos went out for five days and it's almost reached seven million views, which is kind of amazing. Um, I know the teaser images are very, very, um, controversial and likewise with the con- the controversy, um, I know they were involved in some sort of scandal or, um, debacle and how the video was very similar to, um, Rihanna's We Found Love. So, um, yeah, with that in mind, how the similarities and the provocativeness of the teaser, let's go ahead and get reacting to Troublemakers now. Here we go. I think Hina, Hina changes hair colors. Yep, she does, she does. It's different than what I was expecting. What I was expecting. Was that Heineken? That was Heineken. I saw some nature valley. Okay. Oh snap. It's choreography. I really like her dress. Joe girl. <laughs> Okay, Whew. so let's talk about that. <laughs> um, I do have to say that um, before 
um, what is that called? Before getting into K-pop, you know, like, you watch all these music videos and, you know, there's this kind of stuff that goes on, all this groping and all this, basically it's just, you know, overly sexy. And then, once you get into K-pop, you realize that, you know, they don't do it as much, so if someone, like, you know, shows a little skin or something like that, you're just like... You know, like... Just killed me. <laughs> and, um, I was kind of surprised at how they did lock the lid. And, um, on that note, I know, um... Teachel from Super Junior recently, um, was, I guess he was suspicious of Jenna and, um, Jensen's chemistry, because it seemed almost real, as, um, you know, he, um, was suspicious if they were actually dating or not, and, um, I'm not too sure if they, um, they commented on it, commented on it, saying, or their company saying that they weren't dating, but, you know, I, I don't think I would find it, wouldn't mind, actually, Take that back. I would mind if it happened. I mean, granted they do have good chemistry, but you know, that's good. Good chemistry it makes, you know, good stuff like this. As opposed to if they were dating, maybe yeah, the chemistry could get a lot better. But then, it would, I, I think it would lose that whole, that whole sense of professionalism and it would eventually seem like, you know, they're just dating and then what happens if they work out, you know, like, it could be on bad terms and troublemakers no more, but um, overall I thought the song was really good. Um, I don't understand how, um, wait, the Korean name for the song is Need or Not Soul, but I think there's oh, now. Um, I just looked at the lyrics, and I think coinciding with the lyrics and the MV, basically, you know, trying to... Okay, now I got it. The, um, the Korean translation for the actual MV, need or not so, is like, you know, tomorrow, and they don't forget the English, um, English translation for it is um, now, which is like, you know, there's, there's no tomorrow, like, it's a new lyrics, there's no tomorrow, tell me now, tell me now, blah, 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 and, and that's what it is, you know, the whole MV, um, I didn't understand it at first, but then I realized why he was doing the whole jokey thing, like, you know, there's two separate sides, like, he doesn't know what to do, he wants that person to tell him now, you know, before he just goes crazy, which, it hence, would be the Joker. Um, outfits were good, choreography was good. I mean, the choreography looked similar to, um, Troublemaker. I was like, what the hell was their first symbol called? Troublemaker, obviously. But, uh, choreography was fairly simple, a bit more sexier, and I did notice that this whole music video could have been like a beer ad, could have been an anti-drinking ad where you see Hyun Sung vomiting in the toilet from Heineken. Could be a Budweiser ad when Hyun is next to the fridge and she'd be lying down in Budweiser and whatnot. Um, yeah, overall, the um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't think there has been a song from Troublemaker that I haven't liked. Um, I know the the dance is a lot more challenging than the original, or, or than the dance from the first single. Um, there we go. Kind of hard to, you know, take all in how Shona has changed. I mean, you've seen her when she was in The Wonder Girls, when she was, you know, cutesy little one, and then just now she's just, she's this big, you know, sex at one, which I don't have a problem with, I mean, everyone calls her a slut, but it's just her image, and it's not, I mean, you see her on variety shows, she's the total opposite of what people think she is, so, you know, I mean, you gotta give her credit for at least, you know, keeping up with the image and all that stuff, so, you know, give her credit, you guys are just, but 
It's a good song. Good video. Um, I did see some similarities with Rihanna's We Found Love, but the video, all, all in all, wasn't similar to it. I mean, We Found Love was basically like chasing after you, I'm in a room, we're doing drugs. We're making out, we're smoking weed, we're in the bathtub, we're singing. it was stuff like that. But this one, the choreography to it, you know, it had more dynamics. And I think it actually had more of a storyline than Rihanna's We Found Love did. But, like I said, overall, good MV, good song. I expect a lot from them, and I hope they do win the music show. I'm pretty sure they will. Um, I know the album sales are going really well. I'd love to, um, Check that out and hopefully I'll do an album review on it. So, if you liked my reaction to this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other videos you'd like me to react to, um, comment them down below. Um, I have a bunch more I'm going to that I'm going to do after this. So, stay tuned and I'll see you guys all later. Um, bye. Mm -hmm.